Hi everybody, it's me Lady Vivian and I'm here on the Vale. I'm actually in the Vale. Uh, you can see Alder's Tree way in the back and you can see Belgares Tower right here next to me. And we are going to look at a new thing today because now Alder's Tower is ready to be viewed by everybody. So this will be fun and we'll go take a look. Now Alder is the god uh, who is the the main he's the god of the people who are the main characters in the Belgariad and this veil is his little area and um he uh only has like seven disciples he's just the um just the sorcerers and uh he first meets Belgrath when he is Belgrath is a small boy and Alder is a little old man driving a rickety cart. He gives Belgarath a ride through a couple of places, gives him some good advice and, you know, sees him in a few more seasons and uh, now and then shows up to drive him somewhere else. And one day Belgarath finds himself starving and freezing in the middle of winter and he lays down on a pile of rocks to die and discovers that it's Alder's tower. Alder takes him inside, keeps him warm, educates him, feeds him, clothes him, teaches him sorcery, everything. So he's a, a main factor in the books. We're going to go look at Alder's tower. So the path through the veil here. Alder's tower has a little path that branches off. Here's the boulder. Boulder doesn't have its story by it yet, but uh, Belgrath first realizes he can do sorcery when he flips over the boulder. Very giant, huge rock. Belden's tower's up there. I think Skelly will do, he built that, so he will do, I hope, a video on it. But Alder's tower is here. Alder's main color is blue, and we needed a blue flower farm, so I created the tower really to be blue flower farm for cornflowers. So if you come up here to Alder's Tower, you can see that when you come up here in the snow, it would just look like you were by a rock. Uh, he didn't realize he was laying on the edge of a tower. Um, if you want, if, you, if you're here for the blue flowers, I'm going to go to the blue flower farm. You're just going to have to go to the side here and look for the cleverly hidden entrance. It wasn't as cleverly hidden as it is now because I don't like the fact that this door is the wrong blue and I don't have any other blue I can use yet. So right now it's hidden. So if you want to use the blue flower farm, there is a place to sleep, a place to store things, enter chest. Don't take this down. It's a map marker. Um, what you need to do is bring your own bone meal and you're going to put bone meal in the chest on the side of the flower farm. So you need to put bone meal in both sides. This is Avamance's design, by the way, bone meal. If you have extra things you don't want, you can compost them to add more bone meal to that. Then there's directions up here. It says, welcome to Alders Tower Cornflower Farm. Please add bone meal to the chest on both sides. Turn the farm on and off on the left side. Follow the instructions. When you go around to the left side, you can see this says, turn this switch off first and on second. And this switch says, turn this on first and off second. So you turn that one on, then that one on. And it starts making flowers. You can see it up here. It bone meals the ground and then puts the water out to um, put the flowers into the hoppers down there. It sucks the water back in, bone meals the ground again. You do get mostly corn flowers, but you do also get some other things in the chest. Seeds, you're always gonna get seeds and some other uh, flowers. So as it keeps going, and it'll just keep going until the bone meal runs out. Well, it'll keep going when the bone meal runs out too, but you'll see the things coming into the chest. And the things that you don't want, you can just take them over here and put them in the composting uh, barrel. And uh, then they'll just get composted and add to the bone meal on that side. Um, if you just let it run, you'll end up with several stacks of blue flowers. But it does tick the whole time, so you have to decide. Because it's got that dispenser thing. The dispenser thing only dispenses bone meal when it's um, able to, so you don't have to worry about it. It doesn't waste bone meal when it's not working. 
So you can see we already have almost half a stack of blue flowers in just a couple minutes, and um, you can always uh, you can always um, just bone all these things, turn these things into compost, and get some bone meal from them. So that's the blue flower farm. When you want to turn it off, you turn this button off first, and you turn this button off second, that lever rather. Off first, off second. Okay. So we go up to Alder's house, uh, Alder's tower. Now Alder's a god, so he doesn't really need anything. But he does have stuff just for Belgarath, because he realizes Belgarath needs things. The tower has an iron door, because again, color. And I am iron door impaired, so we'll see if I can just walk right in. Yay! When Belgrath enters, he mentions that it's a large vestibule and which is a little bit of decoration here and blue light. There is in this box, as always with everything I build, there are materials in case you bring a creeper in or ruin something or cause a problem, you can fix it. Please fix it if you cause a problem. So there's a little seating, some tables with knickknacks, and then Belgarath mentions the stairway that just went up forever. So the stairway does look like it goes up a long way. To a little boy, it would be a long way. Here's the little boy. He's sitting, Belgarath, baby Belgarath, sitting here reading a book from the never-ending bookcase. Every time he read a book, the bookcase would change what books were in it so that he kept going. Because Alder is a busy man. We've got some food for Belgarath here because Belgarath has to eat, although Alder's like, oh yeah, humans. Uh, fireplace for warmth. Well, Alder, however, is very busy. He is absorbed, absorbed in this shiny object, this round river rock that he has smoothed into what becomes known as the Orb of Alder or Cthrygaska in the Angrak tongue. And it is an extremely powerful object that actually embodies the uh, one of the necessities of the original purpose of the universe. So it is um, a very important thing. It, Torak steals it and uses it to crack the world, and it punishes him for that. So it is a very, very powerful uh, implement. It's going to eventually be on the end of Belgarian sword and um, hanging on the wall in Riva. Um, as always, I put a bed in my things so that you can sleep if it turns night while you're up here. Alder has great views of the of the Vale. You can see Belgrass Tower. You can see the boulder. You can see Belden's Tower. You can see the tree, sort of in the back a little bit. Belgrath gets wet when it rains, but so do the candles. And you can almost see Marigor over there in the distance. So I'm going to have to like plant some tall trees there to um, block that out of the veil. So Alder's Tower, all finished, ready to visit. Please come and, and see the god Alder. He would love it if you would visit his tower and say hello. Isn't that pretty? I'm really happy with it. It looks really good. And it kind of looks like it's growing up out of the rock, which I'm sure is how Alder made it. Thanks for watching. Come visit us on the Vale. Bye.